Hello everyone. Today we will see one worksheet based on functions. Now let us begin with question number one. fx is equals to one plus four x. Uh, find the value of x when fx is equal to fifteen. Now here what I presume that little bit basics of functions you all know. Now you can see the fx is given fifteen. fx is given 15 means i can say that 1 plus 4x is equal to 15 right because your fx is 1 plus 4x therefore your 4x is equal to 15 minus 1 14 and therefore your x is equal to 14 divided by 4 which is 7 divided by 2 so your answer is 7 divided by 2 or you can say that 3.5 Second question, fx is 5 minus 3x, we have to find f of 6. So you can see that fx is given, if I have to find out the value of this function at uh, x is equal to 6, I will say f of 6 is equal to 5 minus, now see basically what we are doing, we are replacing x with 6. So it is 5 minus 3 times 6, so it is 5 minus 3 times 6 is 18 5 minus 18 is it is minus 13 okay so your answer is minus 13 now f of x plus 2 so f of x plus 2 that means uh, the x uh, i am replacing with x plus 2 so this will be equal to 5 minus 3 x i have to replace with x plus 2 now i will simplify this it is 5 minus 3x minus 6 so that will be minus 1 minus 3x so minus 1 minus 3x is your answer the c part is f of fx in the simplest form now f of fx this is considered as a composite function uh, for the function f okay here x is replaced with fx so f of fx is in short written as f f x now here i am replacing x with fx so in my original function which is 5 minus 3x so here also x will replace with fx and uh, finally i will replace this fx with uh, 5 minus 3x so the answer will be 5 minus 3 times 5 is 15 plus 3 times 3 is 9x so your answer will be 9x 5 minus 15 is minus 10 and the d part is find f inverse x the inverse of fx okay so there is a set rule okay in your textbook if you see that whenever a function is given and we have to find its inverse function okay for simple functions you can do it directly otherwise what we do this fx which is 5 minus 3x in this case uh, what I do, I first replace this fx with y. So y is 5 minus 3x. Now this y is also called as function of x. Okay. So either I write fx or I write y, it is one and the same thing. Now to find inverse, what we do, we replace x and y. So here I will say that x is equal to 5 minus 3y and then I make y as a subject so your 3y will be equal to 5 minus x and therefore your y is equal to 5 minus x divided by 3 okay so inverse function is a function which uh, reverses all the operations which your function is doing so in this case uh, your f inverse x is 5 minus x whole divided by 3 okay now 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज एफ एक्स इज एट माइनस थ्री एक्स एंड जी एक्स इज टेन डिवाइड बाई एक्स माइनस वन सो हियर टू फंक्शन आर गिवन टू मी वन फंक्शन इज एफ एक्स द अदर फंक्शन इज जी एक्स नाउ आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट एच ऑफ एफ एट बाई थ्री दिस इज अ कंपोजिट फंक्शन so here what we do let us first find out what is f of 8 by 3 now f of 8 by 3 my function fx is 8 minus 3 uh, this x will replace by 8 upon 3 so this uh, 3 and 3 will cancel and 8 minus 8 it is 0 so i will say that this h of f 8 by 3 is h of 0 because this f of 8 by 3 is 0 now i will look for the h function which is 2 power x so it is 2 power in place of x here i am replacing 0 so here also i will replace 0 and 2 power 0 is 1 so h f of 8 by 3 will be 1 g h of minus 2 so here h of minus 2 first i will find out h of minus 2 now in the function hx x is replaced by minus 2 so here x will also replaced by minus 2 2 power minus 2 2 power minus 2 is what it is 1 divided by 4 now g of h of minus 2 will be written as g of 1 by 4 now my function gx is 10 divided by x minus 1 so here x is replaced by 1 by 4 so it is 1 by 4 minus 1 uh, if you simplify this it is 10 divided by 1 minus 4 whole divided by 4 so this whole divided by 4 i will write in numerator okay uh, um, this much basics i hope you all know that when it is a divided by b divided by c it is written as ac divided by b okay we multiply by the reciprocal of denominator so your answer here will be 10 times 4 is 40 divided by 1 minus 4 is minus 3 so i will write minus 40 divided by 3 uh now g inverse x so first let us write what is gx so your gx function is 10 divided by x minus 1 10 divided by x minus 1 what we do we replace this gx with y so y i will say that y is equals to 10 divided by x minus 1 then i will interchange y and x so i will say that x is equals to 10 divided by y minus 1 now i have to make y as a subject so here i will say that y minus 1 is equals to 10 divided by x and therefore y is equals to 10 divided by x plus 1 which is equals to 10 plus x divided by x so your g inverse x will be 10 plus x or i will say that x plus 10 divided by x now d f inverse of f of 5 okay here answer is 5 now see why i am writing directly f of 5 okay whatever result f of 5 is giving on the same function if i apply inverse then it will give me the input so here input is 5 so my result will be 5 this f inverse and f these two functions will cancel each other's um, operation okay they will cancel out and therefore your result is 5 now question number 4 fx is 2x minus 3 now lot of problem you have solved um, related with this composite function so this problem you can do yourself you can pause this video and solve this problem by yourself 
now g of 2 if you see it is 2 square which is 4 plus 1 which is 5 so that means g of g2 will be g of 5 and g of 5 is 5 is square plus 1 which is 26 g of x plus 2 so in the function gx x is replaced with x plus 2 so here um, you will say that it is x plus 2 the whole square plus 1 so x plus 2 the whole square will become x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 1 so this is equals to x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 1 is 5 so x square plus 4x plus 5 i will write my final answer over here x square plus 4x plus 5 now i have to find x when fx is equal to 7 so fx equal to 7 fx is 2x minus 3 so fx equal to 7 means 2x minus 3 is equal to 7 okay this will give me 2x is equal to 10 and this will give me x is equal to 5 so I have to find x, the value of x is 5. Now I have to find out f inverse. So I will say that okay y is equals to 2x minus 3. Then I replace x and y, I will interchange. So x will be 2y minus 3 and then I will make y as a subject. So 2y is equals to x plus 3. And therefore y is x plus 3 divided by 2. So here I will say that f inverse x is equals to x plus 3 divided by 2. Question number 5. fx is given 3 divided by x plus 2. Okay, so all the problems are of similar nature only the numbers are changed the function is changed so you have to work out g of 1 by 4 now gx see this is your function gx so g of 1 by 4 is what it is 8 times x is replaced by 1 by 4 minus 5 so the result is 2 minus 5 2 minus 5 is minus 3 now f of f2 so let us first find what is f2 this is your fx function so f2 is 3 divided by 2 plus 2 which is equal to 3 divided by 4 and therefore f of f2 is f of 3 by 4 because the value of this f2 is 3 by 4 now in this function which is 3 divided by x plus 2 x will replace by 3 divided by 4 so this a is equals to 3 divided by now 4 to the 8 3 plus 8 is 11 divided by 4 so this is equals to 3 times 4 divided by 11 3 times 4 is 12 12 divided by 11 find out g of gx giving your answer in simple form again gx is gx is 8x minus 5 so when i say g of gx so this gx will replace by 8x minus 5 and in the function gx as here x is replaced by 8x minus 5 on the right hand side I will replace x with 8x minus 5. So the result will be 8 times 8x minus 5 minus 5. On simplification it will give me 64x minus 40 minus 5 which is 64x minus 45. 
नेक्स्ट इज जी इनवर्स एक्स सो योर जी एक्स इज एट एक्स माइनस फाइव आई विल से दैट दिस इज वाई इज इक्व टू एट एक्स माइनस फाइव आई विल इंटरचेंज एक्स विद वाई सो आई विल राइट एक्स इज इक्व टू एट वाई माइनस फाइव एंड देन आई विल मेक माई वाई एज अ सब्जेक्ट सो एट वाई इज इक्व टू एक्स प्लस फाइव एंड देर फॉर वाई इज इक्व टू एक्स प्लस फाइव डिवाइड बाई एट एंड देर फॉर जी इनवर्स एक्स यू विल से दैट दिस इज एक्स प्लस फाइव होल डिवाइड बाई एट राइट जी एक्स माइनस एफ एक्स एज अ सिंगल फंक्शन इन द सिंपल फॉर्म सो जी एक्स इज एट एक्स माइनस फाइव सो इन प्लेस ऑफ जी एक्स आई विल राइट एट एक्स माइनस फाइव माइनस इन प्लेस ऑफ एफ एक्स वी विल राइट थ्री डिवाइड बाई एक्स प्लस टू थ्री डिवाइड बाई एक्स प्लस टू ओके सो दिस इज इक्व टू नाउ आई हैव टू वर्क आउट इन सिंपल फॉर्म हियर माई डिनोमिनेटर इज वन एंड हियर माई डिनोमिनेटर इज एक्स प्लस टू सो दिस एट एक्स माइनस फाइव आई मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाई दिस एक्स प्लस टू so for this 8x minus 5 denominator will become x plus 2 and for 3 also the denominator is x plus 2 so if fractions have same denominator we can add or subtract the numerator now this is my answer i will simplify it further 8x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 2 so 8x first i multiply by x plus 2 it will give me 8x square the result is uh, 8 x square plus 8 times 2 16 x minus 5 times x minus 10 minus 3 whole divide x plus 2 so the result is 8 x square 16 minus 5 is plus 11x minus 10 minus 3 is minus 13 and whole divide by it is x plus 2 show that h g x is 19 simplifies to 16 x square minus 20 x plus 3 okay so h of uh, g x now what is g x gx is 8x minus 5 and what is hx hx is x square plus 6 so your hx is your hx is x square plus 6 and your gx is 8x minus 5 so when i say that uh, h of gx then h this x is replaced by gx which is 8x minus 5 and now in this function hx i replace x with uh, 8x minus 5 so it is 8x minus 5 the whole square plus 6 okay a minus b the whole square is a square so 64x square Minus two times ab, so it is eighty x plus twenty five plus six. So this is equal to sixty four x square minus eighty x plus hmm. I have to show that uh, this is simplifies to sixteen x square minus twenty x plus three. So eight x minus five the whole square plus six h x h x is x square plus six, and this is eight x minus five.
so six plus five something is uh, not correct over here uh, this 64 and uh, this 80 if i take four common so this is okay four three is a 12 here my answer should be 12 okay so what mistake Achha, ha, ha. no 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 okay the question is that h of gx is equal to 19 so h of gx this whole is equal to 19 right okay so 25 plus 6 is 31 and uh, i will subtract 19 and this equal to 0 so therefore 64x square minus 80x 11 minus 9 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so plus 12 is equals to 0 then you can take uh, 4 common so it is 16x square minus 20x plus 3 is equals to 0 and that will give you 16x square minus 20x plus 3 is equal to 0 okay use the quadratic formula to solve this okay now quadratic formula do you remember your x using the quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a okay so your x will be minus b will be 20 plus or minus root of b square 20 square is what 400 minus 4 times a is 16 c is 3 divided by 2 times a a is 16 okay i hope these numbers you are familiar with i am comparing this equation with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so the value of a is 16 b is minus 20 c is plus 3 okay so therefore x is equals to now 400 minus let us do it 400 minus 4 times 16 times 3 the result we are getting is 208 so it is 20 plus or minus root of 208 divided by 32 okay so final simplification final simplification will be it is uh, 5 plus or minus root of 13 divide by 8 okay so 208 if you see 208 square root of 208 will be 4 times root 13 okay so this is your value of x show all your working and give your answer correct to two decimal places so i i i won't answer in two decimal places so here uh, one value will be 5 plus root 13 divided by 8 which is 1.075 so 1.08 i will say and the other value 5 minus uh, square root of 13 divided by 8 so this is 0 0.17 
so quadratic equation now quadratic equation this is not a part of function you must know how to solve a quadratic equation okay now question number 6 question number 6 f of 2 you have to find out okay now i am not doing this question the similar kind of questions already we have done this second question also is very simple and g inverse x also you can find out now here c part uh, find x when hx is j of minus 2 now uh, j function j function is here okay so hx now hx is what hx is 1 upon x so i will say that 1 upon x is equals to j of minus 2 means it is 5 power minus 2 x is replaced with minus 2 i have to find out the value x so here i will take reciprocal on both the sides and it is x is equals to 1 divided by 5 power 2 um no 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 i am taking reciprocal so here already this is written as 1 upon 5 square which is 1 upon 25 so when i take reciprocal x will be equal to 25 So your x is twenty-five, right? f(x) minus h(x) again. This is a very simple problem. Okay, seventh question. H of four. You all can find out. f(g) one. Okay, again simple. Find g f(x) in the form. So g f(x) you have to simplify and get a quadratic form. Find x when f(x) is equal to g seven. So the value of g seven you figure out. f of x is 3x plus 2 write it on the left hand side simplify you will get the value x f inverse x now f inverse x again f inverse x for 3x plus 2 it is um, it is uh, x minus 2 whole divided by 3 okay a uh, find gx upon fx plus x so again a uh, simplification you have to put the value of gx fx and then add x and simplify it find x when h inverse x is equal to 2 okay now this is interesting question hx uh, let us see hx is given 4 power x okay hx is given 4 power x my hx is 4 power x now h inverse x is given to h inverse what h inverse gives h inverse gives uh, your result for h inverse function is always this value so what i will say that uh, this value okay is 2 right you have to find uh, mm -hmm, what i am saying wait 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 okay hx is given 4 power x right hx is 4 power x right hx is 4 power x now h inverse of x is given you 2 so what is x so consider this like this that if say your hx is y means this x is your input and you get result y as output then your x will be equal to h inverse of y okay so this is the relation between your function and inverse of a function if your function hx is equals to y then your x is equals to h inverse of y now it is given that h inverse of x is equal to 2 so by this relation i will say that h of 2 is equals to x and h of 2 here is 4 power 2 4 power 2 is 
16 so your x is 16 okay so your h inverse of 16 will be 2 here x is 16 okay this is little difficult to understand okay now again see here when you are supplying x okay to a function hx it is giving you result as 4 power x right now if uh, for h inverse x 4 power x is my input then my output is going to be x so what i will say i will say that h inverse of now for h inverse what input i am taking i am taking as 4 power x so h inverse of 4 power x is x so that means uh, this part is going to be equal to if your result is x then this part is equals to 4 power x so your result is 2 so this part will be equal to 4 power 2 and 4 power 2 is 16 so little bit okay i hope little bit you understood what i am trying to convey right so this part this last part is a tricky one rest all are simple again i recommend that uh, you try few more questions from your textbook so that you are confident in your function topic thank you